Dylan, Dylan, Dylan. You son of a bitch. Yo, what's going on comic fam? It's Dylan, and I'm back again with another comic book review, and you know we'll be talking spoilers on this one, so if you haven't read Thor issue number one, I mean, yo, be fr feel free to keep, con keep watching, but I'm just giving you a heads up, spoilers coming up ahead. Now, great fucking way to start the new year, man. Donny Cates is my favorite writer in the game right now man can't nobody fuck with him if you don't fuck with him man then i don't know what to tell you man maybe you ain't gonna like this but dude the dude just put out a groundbreaking issue and i can't wait black winter is upon us baby black winter is here and it is fucking oh man this was so good this ha is a contender for venom y'all know venom it was my pick of the year my favorite book if the, if the issues continue like this, this is going to be my new favorite, man. I'm telling you, just from this first issue, this is my favorite uh, first issue that Donny Cates has probably ever written. No doubt about it. Like, I, I'd have to go reread issue one again of Venom, but I'm telling you, this was so good. I highly recommend it. If you are any type of Thor fan, Donny Cates quickly turns this into his own Thor right away. He... He uh, respects everything Jason Aaron did these last seven years, but he quickly turns this into his book. Oh my God, man. Donny Cates writing this baby, and uh, we got Nick Klein doing the arts. We got Matthew Wilson doing the colors. We got Joseph Bino on the letter letters and design. And Olive, Oliver Copiel and Laura Martin doing the cover artist. I was thinking of getting, you know, Marvel always goes nuts and has like fucking 30 covers. I was thinking, I wish I could have got that Stegman because I'm a huge Ryan Stegman fan. But I always try, I always go with the A cover. Mo majority, 99% of the time. Uh, was debating if I should have maybe got the art germ because my shop actually didn't have any other variants, I believe, besides that. But, you know, I had to go with the A cover. I'm loving this new edition with the Ravens. I don't... Let me know in the comments down below if you guys um, remember if, like, the All-Father... Did he have the Ravens, too? Because I think the Ravens is a really cool, you know, bonus to, you know, uh, this new Thor story. I think that shit looks so cool. Um, and let me know what you guys think of the new intro, baby. You know, my dog, Comic Hat 84 cooked me up something real cool with that. Got the new logo, too. So, my man, bless me. We going into 2020 fucking... We going in the, the right way, man. We straight official up in here now. We on, we on our way to the big leagues, baby. Come on, now. So, uh... Do we we get right up in this with, uh... Thor, Thor throwing a, a dope-ass shot. Ten round through the 10 realms and it goes all the way through the 10 realms lands on earth and the hammer well you can see the ha it starts off with the hammer and it goes through the 10 realms and uh it lands on earth kill straight up land ripping through a monster's mouth and killing that monster one shot baby thor is killing it um I planned on doing this like crazy, like full details, but I literally just did a 20 minute video on this and the vo and the voice, the voice sounded all fucked up. So salt about that. So, uh, yeah, man, you know, the old king is gone. Long live the king. My name is Thor. What? And you know, it, the hammer lands on after he took out that monster in one shot. And you know, Tony Stark's like, Hey, anyone got a Sharpie? And, uh, Thor calls the hammer back and, you know, he's bragging, he's bragging. He's like, you know, Asgard, the city in the sky, home of the gods, kingdom of Thor. Uh, did thou see that lady Sif, eh? She's like, yes, Thor, I see everything. Because like I said, he continues where everything left off with Jason Aaron's lady Sif is now the keeper, basically. She has taken over Heimdall's spot since Heimdall has passed away love heimdall man it's so sad to see him go but we got lady sith taking care of shit now and she's like all t or he goes all 10 realms one throw odin himself could not make that uh yes thor that was a very good shot i that it was is there anything else in the realms that requires thor's attention maybe uh, a frost giant needs needs of smiting it feels ages since i've had a good smite and she's like my lord the Bifrost is now under my protection, and I'm afraid your smiting days are over. 
I have my job, Thor. Quit hiding from yours. Go be king. And he looks down at the hammer. I, king, um, looks at the hammer and uh, get the little Sharpie marker. Enjoy a nice throw. Enjoy the retirement. Um, so Thor, man, he's a warrior, man. He's wanted the, the kingdom since he's wanted the kingdom. He's wanted the throne since he was a little kid. But deep down, Thor will always be a, a warrior. You know what I mean? So he's like, you know, or Lady Sif goes, you know, try to not to be so dour about it, my liege. You know, becoming king of Asgard, after all, is what you've wanted since you were a child. And he goes, aye, and now I have it. But what is a king to a god? And man, just, I, dude, as you can see, these colors, this artwork is just absolutely phenomenal. Like, I, I really, I really think that it, it's a, it, it's just, they come, they came together and they put a 10 out of 10 book. I really thought that this was a great fir first issue. We got Thor, the Devourer King, part one, the Black Winter. God, that shit just gives me chills thinking about it. This this was just so good. So good. So good. You know, and now uh Asgard after the room after the war of uh the war of realms ravaged as Asgard and many more since Thor has rebuilt his home in his image. No longer the shimmering golden palace of his father before him, the seat of the king has been remade in wood and stone, grown by Yggdrasil, the world tree, and shaped by hammers. Above his throne, the Nordic rune of the reset, the reset, or something like that, a symbol of the great thorn, protru protruding the tree of life, symbolizing both this defense and destruction. It is his charge. It is his name. And the king sits on his throne like, leave me. And Volstagg's like, you know, but uh, there's some dire things that need your attention. You know, uh, we got, you know, uh, your attention, the feast and the number of caskets of ale. I might have commissioned for one is of dire. Thor looks at him like, are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? And it's like, that's what king is, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to deal with a lot of dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Like just goofy stuff you know to make sure that the that everyone is kept well and he's like volstagg's like right um right you know he's like you heard the king you know he's like but what you know what are you guys all tearing about then like out with you lot and they're like but the ale and he's like er on the side of too much <laughs> so <laughs> thor's like oh my god oh my god uh so loki comes in and he uh you know he's like how does it feel to sit on father's throne he's like i wouldn't know brother i've only ever sat on mine he's like ah nervous then for the big speech are we he's like after all after all all of asgard is gathered here to see the great golden bird speak and you always did get grumpy when you had to act royal i am not new to the thing loki i've spoken many in the past um he's like oh yes you, you've told armies to kill and that you are about to kill them and then done so. But this is rather different, yes? You're meant to inspire them. Meant to. And he's like, cuts him off. He's like, tell me, King Loki, Lord of the Frost Giants, is it no longer customary to bow when visiting visiting a, raw, a foreign king? And he gets a little pissed from that. like, And uh, he goes to lift the hammer and he goes, He's like, now leave me, Loki, and should you ever <clears throat> enter my kingdom, he has a little, it takes a little, for, it takes him a little grunting to lift that hammer. He's like, I'll have my, you ever enter my kingdom unbidden again, I'll have my ravens rip your eyes from your lying skull. Is that, is it getting heavier, Thor? And he looks back at him like, what? He's like, Mjolnir, I don't recall you ever grunting when you used to pick it up. And Thor just, he looks with him, looks at him with that dirty eye, with that, with that one eye, and he throws the hammer at him. And Loki goes, please don't, please no. And the hammer stops right in front of his face. And he's like, how are you doing this? And he's like, I'm all father now, little brother. Clothed, clothed in the power that comes with the title. You do well to remember that. Man, I thought that was a great line. I thought that was a really cool line. Um... 
he continues on to go, you know, Loki, Loki's usually right, usually wrong about these types of things, but here, he's right about two things. First, the new god, king of Asgard, of late, has felt the Mjolnir, uh, the weight of mighty Mjolnir growing. He does not yet know why he will, and he will wish he hadn't. And the second is that Thor indeed is rather nervous to give his uh, gathered masses, his speech to the gathered masses of the Golden City. You know, in his most private hours, he's been kind of speaking to the mirror, practicing, talking to him and Mjolnir. Um, but as he's thinking to himself, the temperature drops in the kingdom. As he feels his own breath and witnesses the first falling snow, not of his making, he realizes that he will never speak a word of his speech. Um, Odin's beard and snow start, start, is starting to fall. And we get a huge panel of Galactus just just breaking through the planet and just or it's either I'm pretty sure it's either that or he straight up landed on and it's like ba boom you know and uh it, we get like dude we get one of my favorite parts you know uh the horrors reigning in the streets of Asgard as the frostbitten devourer falls okay yes what am I thinking he falls um from the throne a scream a bolt of lightning and then that thing comes after it and man Thor is so powerful right now. His his lightning is crazy, man. And he goes, Galactus, you dare? And dude, look at this. Look at what he's conjuring up, man. The All-Father, King Thor, is nobody to fuck with, man. Nobody to fuck with. And as you'll see when we get a little bit closer, Galactus should, should be scared of Thor. He should be very scared. And Galactus goes, stop, stop. I came for help. You know, you are the only one who can. Hell, you're the only one who can. The Star Plague, the Great Black Winter. It is coming. And he passes out. So, since the Devourer fell, the morning rain of Asgard has been pouring for weeks. The lightning furious and incessant. The, lun the thunder deafening. The city officials busy themselves by counting the dead. Cal calculating the cost, trying to ignore the silence of their king. Volstagg, the Vol, nominous trusted ally and one-time war Thor, passes his time with spreading weight in his already prodigious gut. For in the week since Galactus brought frozen death to Asgard, Yggdrasil, the, the world ash, the tree of life, has begun to die. So shit is not looking good. Like, when De Galactus comes... Shit just goes all sideways, always, man. And then there is Thor. Uh, my ravens have scoured the galaxy and I, to find you and bring you here. And I thank you for answering my call. Now, the gathering of heralds of Galactus. What in the, he the damned hell is a star plague? What is this black winter? One of you ghouls, answer me. And then we see we're, we see Cosmic Ghost Rider. We see some of the other ones. I don't recognize the other ones. Um, but then you're like, where where's Norm Rad? Where's Silver Surfer? And he he's wa he walks through through the door and he goes, "It is the end of everything." Hello, Thor. Norn, my friend, what has happened to you? A tale for another time, perhaps. We must act quickly. So obviously. You know why Silver Surfer looks the way he does if you've read Silver Surfer Black. So, how much he goes to ask everybody, how much do you know of Galactus' birth, how he came to be, what he is now? He's an explorer, uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider continues to go. He was an explorer of the galaxy before ours, Galen, uh, the planet Ta. Some unknown Galacticism killed, killed his universe and he was the sole survivor he was transformed into. No. Not unknown, Silver Surfer goes and says, The Star Plague, the Blight Storm, the Rot Blizzard. Many names, but one truth. It is the one true end. The Black Winter. And Thor, Thor shook, man. Thor is shook. He's like, no, man, what the fuck? What the hell? I can't catch a break. But then, he wanted to fight, man. He needed something. And it's like, it's, he's like, I didn't want this. And he's like, how do we stop it? We do not. The Black Winter, the universe before ours, Thor, as our as Galactus devours worlds, the winter comes for realities. 
However, Galactus, the one, the only one who has ever survived the winter, twice now. One on Ta when he was a man. Now weeks ago, he witnessed it and narrowly escaped its path before crashing to Asgard. He must be the one to face it again. But first, he must feed. In my time as his herald, I gained knowledge of five very special planets, worlds whose rare and unique energies would give Galactus powers beyond imagination. I've hidden these worlds from him for a very long time. For a very, very long time. Until now. He is our only chance. And one of the other heralds goes, God, Galactus with more power? Like, what the fuck? The dude's already powerful as is. And, you know, they continue to go, so which one of us is going to be taking him? Uh, of us is taking him. Silver Surfer steps up to the plate and goes, I will be the, the his herald on this journey. And then my dog Thor goes, I. And I lo look at the thunder crashing down, and I will accompany you. You will not, like, you won't, you won't be going alone. And it just, look at the thunder, man. Look at that lightning, baby. Like, dude, he ain't nobody to fuck with, bro. Donny Cates hit, hit this story. So many awesome lines. I really enjoyed this, man. I really did. It was so good. And Thor, it, it, we cut to a little bit later. Thor is getting his armor ready. He's getting dressed. And he's thinking about, you know, things that uh, have been said to him about from Lady Smith, about his smiting days being over, uh, about Loki saying, is the, is the Mjolnir getting heavy? And he thinks to himself, the old king is gone, while he wipes the Sharpie marker off his hammer that Tony wrote. And so, draped in war, flanked by a dozen heralds of a broken destroyer and stained by the ashes of his kingdom, the black reign of, thun of the Thunder King began. And I love it. He walks out in front of Galactus. And he screams out, Galactus! Kneel! And dude, what you think he did? He fucking kneeled, baby. He kneeled. He knew what was good for him. He knew that he was going to get that ass whooped if he didn't. So he knew what was up. God, bro. God. And Silver Surfer goes... Out to him and he goes, you know, I can feel you in my head, Galactus, and I assume you know of the plan, of the truth. Galactus continues, I do, Surfer, the th uh, that you could shield these things from my mind, that you, you yet conceal the locations of these planets from me? I am impressed. King Thor has graciously agreed to accompany us with his battalion to see these, de these uh, planets to safety before you feed. Shall we begin? And he goes, Master... While he waits for his answer, Thor is already getting ready for this motherfucker to pull something. And he's like, I'm about to whoop your ass if you don't make the right decision, Galactus. And um, he Galactus goes, no. And I didn't even notice the whole time that Galactus is missing an arm at this point, too. So he goes, no. He's like, so Surfer goes, no, I don't understand. He's like, Galactus continues, the frost, the star plague, it is not a being. Each galaxy or entity that gazes into it perceives it differently, just as I am perceived differently to each of you. The Black Winter, however, when you gaze into it, you see the form of your, your own true death. I've gazed into it twice now. Once when I was on Galen, I watched my universe die before my, my eyes and saw nothing. I had not yet seen the cosmic wonders I know today. I, so it appeared to me as a black, a great blackness, a void as I could not fathom such things with a mortal mind. But when I saw it again, you know what I saw, Norrin? What I saw as the embodiment of my one true death? And he raises his hand out, starting to power up. He goes, I saw Thor. Silver goes, no, thinking that he's about to take Thor out or kill him. Thor goes, ah, give it to me, dude. What do you got? And, uh, and Volstagg's like, Thor, no. And they pull him back like, Volstagg, no, that power will kill you. And he's and Galactus is power, throwing power at him. He's like, I did not happen upon Asgard for no reason. I did not come here for no, for no asylum. If you are to be my end thunder god, then we will kill the Black Winter together. And when we are done, I would have you close so that I may have words with thee. Until then, rise my or well he doesn't say until then rise 
herald of thunder. So now, is Thor a king and also a herald of Galactus? Or is he just a herald of thunder? That's something I'll, I'm interested to know. Because I'm guessing he is a herald of Galactus now. Because he want, Galactus wants to keep him close. But man... It was so good. It was so good, guys. I really fucking love this issue. I really had a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought. I'm so I'm really interested to know what everyone else is thinking. From what I from what I've seen in the community, majority of everyone is saying this is their pick of the week, that this is amazing, a great way to start the new year. I couldn't agree more. And uh, I'm interested to know what what you guys are thinking so if you guys wouldn't mind hitting that like button on your way out hitting that subscribe if you already haven't hitting that bell notification so you get all updates on upcoming videos and i'll catch you on the next one peace out